Hello guys, I made another video. This time I actually built a house and it's actually a pretty interesting shape and I only use bright colors. Like I went colorful, like red, yellow, purple, blue. <laughs> I went crazy in this house. I want to do something I haven't done before and I want, I wanted to go with the different shape too so I went slightly different it actually turned out pretty cool I did um, everything like literally everything bright interesting colors and made it super fun like I even did a lot of pink it's pink orange yellow red purple, blue, pretty much any color you can think of that's not black, white, gray, you know, just bright stuff. Like the gate is blue. I try to do blue everything outside aside from the door and then the, um, the brick I used on the porch is going to be pink. You know me, I got to use my cheats to be able to place things wherever I want. And it still didn't work out because it ended up on the door somehow, which was weird. But, you know, can't always have what you want. That little bell is my cat running by. But I really like the um, way this house looks. And I made those two window areas because I wanted to have a very bright and open living room and dining room. Slash kitchen because the kitchen and the dining room are going to be together. And the two back areas are going to be bedrooms and then the small room is a bathroom obviously and I go through trying to pick doors and I just go with the um the purple option under the rainbow door the purple and blue I think I went for that with both rooms and one is purple and one is blue just to give them a little bit of difference but they still look good together the living room ends up being like a red orange yellow theme and the same goes with the dining room so I did change the front door from the pink one, which actually was really cute. I maybe should have stuck with it, but I wanted to do blue outside. So I wanted to do a blue door to go with it. Although I did still go with the pink for the porch floor, the porch floor. <laughs> and I'm excited because I'm definitely going to be having my um, webcam in the next week or so. So, super excited about that. It can't come soon enough, honestly. Because I would love, just love to be able to film myself while I play. I think it would be very, very interesting. Because I love to watch other um, simmers play using a webcam. Just seeing their reactions whenever they do some things is, it just makes it more fun to watch instead of just watching them build like this. Even though I find these interesting as well. It's fun to see how other people do things. Cause a lot of people are very different about the way they go about things. Like, I wouldn't decorate the way some other people do. 
And some other people may not decorate the way I just did in this house. But I tried to step out of my comfort zone. And my comfort zone is usually in darker colors. Either like grays, black, whites. Just sticking with um, more neutral regular colors and not going too too crazy with the bright colors. But in this house I decided to step outside of my comfort zone and really do something interesting because I figured this would be a really cool build and I don't know it just seems really cool. I really did something different whenever I um, created a house like this and it's super bright and super pretty which I was surprised I actually liked it in the end <laughs> honestly I didn't think I would but you know oh, and then I'm just choosing plants for outside I think I do pretty basic stuff nothing too crazy my next house is actually really interesting I really am going all out with the next one well I'm going all out when it comes to the outside of the house and then kind of the same with the inside but more so on the outside I to just make it look a little cuter a little more fun if you know what I mean even though I like this one a lot, I just love the way it looks. It is only a two bedroom, one bath, so that kind of sucks. So it would only be for like either two roommates or possibly a mother and a father and their child or a single parent and their child. Or even like retired couple and they could turn the extra bedroom into an office. There are so many possibilities. And I was really happy whenever I was looking at um, all the paintings. There were so many I haven't used yet and I had so many more opportunities with this house because I hadn't looked at the colors. Like all these red pictures I usually don't use too much. Like the. So now I continue on from the living room into the dining room. And I actually stick with the orange theme. I actually ended up liking the orange theme for some weird reason. I thought it was pretty interesting because it's not something everybody does. And I just add some plants at the window to really make it look a little cuter. You know me and plants. I'm in love. <laughs> and I'm sorry if you hear a noise in a minute. My cat looks like she's about to go flying. That or she's going to get into my lap. I'm not sure which. But if you hear a weird noise, it's probably her. Oh, and I never noticed this um, rug before and I really love it. It's so nice. At least for what theme I have going for the orange look. Orange and yellow. It looks really good. And maybe another setting, it probably wouldn't look as good. Oh, and I realized I needed a... Um, oh my gosh. Um... A di not a dining table, a coffee table. Damn. Oh, I started the kitchen, which I actually did orange as well, with yellow accents on the um, refrigerator and the, the stove. It looks so nice. I was actually kind of surprised. 
I'm not sure if that's orange or red for the sink. It's one of the two colors. It doesn't really matter. But um, I love those bar stools. They actually look so good. There's so many items I haven't used before. And when I started this random build, I was like, there's so many nice things that I've just missed out on for so long. And I should have tried sooner to try other things, but I don't always do that. Venturing out is hard for some people, and I'm one of those people. Coming up on going into the bedrooms, which I stick with a kind of a regular color for them. Well, not a regular, really. Purple and blue. I pretty much picked the doors out by... See, that was my cat. That creaky noise was my cat jumping off of a chair. But, um, I went for... Uh, I forgot. I wasn't recording for the, um, bedrooms. Oops. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So I lost that footage. But I do go through and do like a little tour of the house so you get to see it and look at the bedrooms a little better it's pretty cute guys it's one room is purple and one is blue well blue green but it's really cute guys it's I actually love this house Let's put the house into live mode so I can, or live mode, whatever. <laughs> and then I just start showing the house because it's so cute. Look at it. And here is the inside with all the walls down, aside from the main walls. It's so cute. Can you imagine how long this video would have been if I would have actually been recording the bedrooms? <laughs> it probably would have been at least like 20 minutes long. But it would have been good to show. It's such a pretty house. I think I did pretty good on it. But yeah, guys, that is the end of this video if you liked it. Uh, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, or just check back for other videos because I post daily. And if you want to see more, just check back. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.